There is now a better version of the replay mod called Flashback, which allows you to do cool videos like so, and having 10 times more customizability than the replay mod. So to start off, uh, you probably want a camera to be able to get your third person shot that you want. So that would be right there. You can do add keyframe. And now when you start the replay, it'll automatically snap you to that camera right there. Then if you want to make it so it pans down to here, you can add yet another keyframe and now get a nice shot down here. I'm going to use the rule of thirds here to make sure I am directly in the center of the frame. Add a keyframe right there. And there you go. Now you have the camera path all shown. So you can see that's what it looks like. You can see it from the outside like that. Or you can press the start replay button and watch it. You can watch me take off. That is the basics. You can also change the interpolation to be uh, ease in and out to make it so it looks like this. Make it a little bit smoother. And there you go. That looks very nice. And there you go. That's the bare basics on how to make it work. You can also uh, change the FOV dynamically, which is shown in Mug Swamp's video, which if you haven't watched, you should go watch. It does explain a little bit more about what this mod is, how it works. And you might want to make it so you add an element, FOV, and make it so it zooms out slowly here because then you can see more of the scene. So right here, FOV, add. Back in the beginning, we keep it like relatively low. Add. So now let's see how it looks. And there you go. That is everything that is currently in the mod. As far as I could tell, this is all you need to know. If you understand how timelines work from any kind of video editing software, it should be relatively straightforward for you. Uh, some other interesting features include the overriding time. So if I wanted to make it this, so this, this shot was at night, you can do so like that. Uh, it is compatible with shaders. I would like to mention uh, it is compatible with shaders. So as you can see, it looks just, it, it does work with shaders. You can also quickly remove the skybox and also re uh, render name tags if you want. I have it off because it looks worse in my opinion. Uh, I have all of the GUI stuff off because this is a cinematic shop. You don't really need those. If you do, you can turn them on like so. I mean, there's nothing in my scene, so I guess it wouldn't work out very well. Uh, you can change the aspect ratio. So you can make it so it's whatever aspect ratio you want, especially for myself, which is really useful because I record in widescreen. <laughs> uh, so it does help quite a bit. So to get your video, you press export and you put in your resolution. I, that's what I have as my default resolution. Just export and you just wait. 